Hey guys, Stella here. So I've been working on getting stuff around for a commission I'm actually doing. It will be my first one ever. Um, so Momoko and I just went to the Joanne's today. I got some fabric and stuff. And I caved and I got a new sewing machine because it was on sale and I kind of need one. <laughs> the machine I have is nice. It was a gift from a friend. But um, it needs tuned. The tension really doesn't work very well. And I mean, it's just kind of old and it doesn't have like any of the accessories with it. So I'm just like, I've been wanting to get one of my own for a while and I just haven't, you know, had the money for it. But now with the commission, um, I should have enough money for it once I get paid. So yeah, I bought one. I have the Singer Talent. One I have now is simple, I think. It's a, it's a little bit older though, but um, you know, nothing fancy. It still has, you know, basic stitches, kind of the same setup and everything, but I'm really excited. and. I had already started to open the box, and Momoko was like, you should do an unboxing, because it would be fun to watch someday, so here I am. But I'm happy because it comes with styrofoam that I can use for cosplay. Thank you, Joanne's, for thinking of you as cosplayers. Well, not as much Joanne's, but singers. You know what I mean. I actually have instructions. My other one has instructions, but we couldn't find them for the longest time, so... We had to look them up online, and the only one we could find for a while was in Spanish. So, yeah, that was fun. Keep this bag away from babies. I would certainly hope so. Sweet! Which, thankfully, since it's the same setup, I don't have to worry about really learning anything. Oh, there's more stuff. Oh, what is this? It's a clever! Oh, that's good. Yes, I was thinking... I don't know, I still might buy one of like the nice hard ones in case I do want to take this to a convention. Although, I'm really not working on many costumes for conventions anymore, but just in case I do, it'd be nice to have one. What is this? Ooh. A DVD for instructions. That would have been nice for the other one. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can get this thing out of the box without killing myself. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, there's stuff in it. Oh, it's oh, okay. I forgot. <laughs> so, spinning. Oh, it's all moved and shiny. And now it's covered in dust. Okay, so here's the book pedal. Nice and any machine, but it don't go over top of me. I forgot about this. Um, this style machine actually has a little cup, like glass clear. I tried to at the store. Well, that's true. Ah, I know how to work it, I promise. But um, this one actually has the bobbin kind of built into the bottom. I have to get new bobbins. But it has a little clear window on it. So I don't really have to like get into the bottom anymore and try to take it apart just to figure out what the heck is wrong with the bobbin. Which will be fantastic because that took up the first costume I made with that machine, that's the reason it took so long. Was because I literally had to figure out what was wrong with the bobbin every single time. And then I couldn't go, get the pieces to go back in for a while until I finally was like, screw this, I'm looking it up, and then I found out why. So put that back down. So it's that, you know, all the basic same stuff as most senior machines, you know, showing the link, the um, buttonhole maker, all the different stitches, which I'm actually kind of excited for the buttonhole maker though, because I've been kind of wanting to fix. Um, I bought a Yuki Cross costume, but the the buttonholes are starting to fall apart, so I've been thinking about just taking it all out and redoing it or waiting until it does fall apart. And my other machine has the capability, but for some reason, like, all the parts are missing, so I couldn't do it. That side is in strength. Yay! Oh, is that what that is? It says it comes with a stitch guide, which... Although helpful, not overly necessary for me. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, 
see why I'm doing that. That's a lot of these. I have another sneak ripper. Ooh. Just a button. Yeah. See it? You see it? That's cool. I don't know. Yeah, it makes me happy because I've been kind of looking forward to having one. Comes with needles, which would be nice. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but okay. Oh, and it comes with more bobbins. That's very nice. Oh, my choice. Sweet, and it comes with a couple different types of feet. And stuff. I'm not entirely sure what all of it is, but I'm going to find out. Yay! And it's nice because it still comes apart like my other one does, because this is going to be my first instinct to check. Oh, I have to get my bodies up and everything, if I can ever get to it. Yeah. This actually kind of seems like it has more room, but it could be about the same. Have I been doing that wrong this entire time? Now I just got a lot of things. Yay! Yes, the shiny. I'm gonna find out what this stuff is because, again, it's like I don't want to break all this stuff open because it's new, but I, I, I want to find out. Because, those of you who don't know, I don't really use machines when I make my costumes. Um, most of it is usually done completely by hand. The first few classrooms I did, I tried to use a machine and it didn't work out well. Um, so, a lot of the, my stuff has been by hand. Irita and Raven are completely done by hand. That has no machines to do. Um, Chalua has some, but I did a lot of it by hand, like the bias tape and everything like that. Um, Gara is done by machine, but my friend kind of helped me make that one. Um, Princess Tutu, which was the last major costume I made, was the first one I really used the machine on myself. Um, I mean, it turned out pretty well, but considering my other machine and how how old it is, and you know, trying to adjust the tension and trying to get it to work. It, Kind of, like, it, it worked, kind of, but it would have been nice to have a new machine for that one. But I'm very much happy with that costume because it turned out really well. At least for me. For me, it was a big thing for me. Let's find out what's in the other stuff. On all purpose, zipper foot. Oh, it does. Oh, it does come with a zipper foot. I don't, I didn't have one on my other one either. So I had to do with that one. It has a button hole maker and it has a button sewing foot. I wonder how that works. Seam ripper. And oh that's what that is. So there's like a little I guess I can open this up and show you guys because it's all I've done. So the one that's on it now is the all purpose foot, which is not what I should use. Needles and a little pouch. Seam ripper. Oh, you can never have too many seam rippers. I swear, I think I have, I used to have two, but I think I lost the other one. And then, you know, top for that. And more bobbins, which is always appreciated, because you can never have enough of those. Oh, that is it. Right. So, apparently this little thing we're doing is for an edge or quilting guide thing. Don't know how it works, but it sounds cool. And there is a pack of needles. And spool holder. Oh, that's what the thing is. This is a spool holder, too. So this is one holder. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes total sense. My other one didn't have one, so whenever I was sewing, my, my bobbin was always moving and making a lot of noise. Bobbins. Oh, okay, that's what that is. This is a little screwdriver thing. No little L screwdriver. So you can do stuff. Okay, and this is a darning plate, which is probably something I'm not really going to have to use. But here's a zipper foot. I'm happy because my one didn't have one, so I was always paying the butt trying to get the other one. Okay, so that's what that is. This is a little spool thing. Wait, what is this? 
No, this is the button foot. Okay, this is the button foot. Kind of weird looking. I think I didn't have one of these. I just didn't know what it was because we didn't have instructions for the longest time. At least we couldn't find them. We eventually found them. And then we have the cover for the box and then a school pin belt thing. Yay! Okay, so I'll show you that. Chipper pool. Is it a box? Is it a box? A box. Eh, it's a box. Then I find the pool. Hmm. There's some things that you can purchase now. And the good thing is, hopefully, this machine will last me a very long time. So, that has been my sewing. New sewing machine unboxing. Because Mama Co said I should do one because it'd be fun. Um, now that I feel like I'm not very an and very energy person, I'm just kind of like, yay, I'm excited because I finally get to do things. And it'll be nice to have a new machine to work with. Kind of a, kind of a new start. Um, in terms of sewing, I've been kind of having a rough time. Um, like, I made the music video try uh, as kind of motivation for myself and my friends and other people to keep them going in cosplaying. But um, even though I made that, I'm still kind of having a rough time just because I don't feel like my costumes are quite where they should be. But, you know, I'm still learning things. I'm still moving, redoing pieces all the time, or I want to because I know better techniques and stuff now. So it's just been kind of hard, but I'm really hoping that with this and some of the questions I have coming up that hopefully that will change. Um, because just being around my friends and my cosplay friends always seems to help. Um, I actually spent a lot of time last night talking to our friend Taka about it. So that, that did help. I did sleep a little bit easier. So it was nice. But yeah. So I'm going to have a lot of fun because this is all new stuff to me. And I love new things. I love new things. As you can see, I'm in a different place because I'm in a house and not a tiny dorm room. Um, the reason for that is because I am back in college. And this year we were fortunate enough to get into one of the college houses that they're now offering. Well, it's the only one for right now, but, um, so we, uh, Momoko and I, Pumpkin, and then our friend Susie are here. Um, our other roommate is leaving, unfortunately, so we will be trying to find a new one or have, uh, student, you know, resident life help us find another one. But for right now, you know, it'll, you know, she's still here. But it's nice because we have our own kitchen, free laundry, and it is fantastic. And I finally just unpacked my stuff yesterday. It took me three days because I went through spurts of doing it and then I stopped. But I did a lot of grocery shopping too. But I like it. It's mine. And it finally looks like mine. Because I have my cosplay stuff everywhere. Uh, my nerd stuff is everywhere. Um, I'm not going to give you a tour just yet because Momoko... Pumpkin and I have been talking about doing that um, together, just doing kind of a house tour. So who knows, might see that in the near future, I'm not entirely sure, hoping to do that soon. But um, for right now, you can see Dean's lovely face, because Dean, I love Dean. And Supernatural is starting soon, and The Walking Dead starts on Sunday, and I'm so happy, but I'm so mad, because we still don't have cable. So we'll see what happens, might have to go over to the upper classroom dorm or whatever. But yay, I'm so happy. I got a new machine. I got plenty of fabric, plenty of things to keep me going on. I have Adam's commission. Um, he's going to be doing Link, but a slightly like a variant version kind of. I'm also making him a kind of neck piece thing, I guess you could call it, um, from The Force Unleashed in Star Wars. I have Pira to finish. Uh, I'm redoing. Pretty much everything I have right now, but I actually let me get that up for you because I feel like it. Okay, so I have some of my armor actually kind of done. Um, originally, these had access. I finally, finally got a heat gun from my stepdad. He was nice enough to give me one of his old ones because he bought a new one. So I redid the edges on these. So I have my gauntlet for Pira. Um, I had to also do some cutting and 
rework on it because it was cutting off my circulation. Um, so, Pura's arm, I have to re-sand all the edges, repaint the edges, um, touch up a few spots here and there. My armband is much the same way, uh, to uh, redo, you know, sand off the edges, sand off a few spots of paint, um, repaint it. But uh, this is just kind of sitting on it for now. But in the end, this will go inside to help it fit a little bit better because originally when I first made this, it did fit, but um, because I'm no longer doing physical labor, I'm going to be losing muscle, so I have a backup plan. Plus, it helps with spray painting for me. Uh, I have like my thigh armor done, but I have to reshape it and cut off the excess. I have a lot of work to do on it. Um, my kneecaps are kind of done. I just kind of cut off the excess. Um, the only reason I didn't do that before was because I was heating everything with a hair dryer <laughs> and the stove, and it made it extremely difficult to do anything. It took me probably three times longer than what it should have, so I didn't really get to get to cutting around the edges because it was too hard to do when it was still cold with the really crappy hair scissors. So the heat gun really helps, so I'll probably be working on that tonight. I'll be working on Adam's commission here soon. Hopefully trying to get that done for him. Really excited guys. Things are kind of kind of settling out. It's been one hell of a summer. Uh, I've been sick on and off. I had had tooth problems and I'm still waiting to get my permanent crown on because they messed up the first one and then they dropped my temporary crown down the sink after throwing it on, like dropping it on the floor. So, fun times. But I do have a lot of stuff coming up. I have Glass City Con this next weekend. Um, I'm doing a skit so I'll be working on the audio for that. We're going to Majori Con before my birthday um, as a Ruby group so I have to have Pierre done by then. And then we are actually going to Kabotra Khan, or it's something similar pronunciation, not 100% sure. <laughs> but um, it's actually one down by Dayton, I believe. But it's actually not that far from Pumpkin's house. So we're going to be staying over at her house and then driving over. Um, it's a two day convention, so it'll be just nice to get out, kind of go, you know, stay kind of active. Um, we had talked about going before and then we kind of dropped it, but. Uh, Momoko and Pumpkin have talked it out and figured stuff out, so I'm just kind of along for the ride. Um, I do some panels there, haven't quite decided yet. More than likely, I will, I should know which one. And then after Bocha, we are done until OhioCon, which unfortunately Pumpkin and Momoko aren't going, so it'll just be me, um, my friend Sam, some other friends hopefully staying with us. Yeah. But I also have some friends from high school that are going, hopefully this year, depending on a few things. So it'll be nice to see them and get to go to OhioCon with them again. So it'll be fun. Um, then after OhioCon, it's the end of Marathon. And then we may or may not be going. I think we're going to Tech I'm pretty sure we're going to Tech Fest before OhioCon. Um, from the songs, but I think Momoko and Pumpkin will be getting an artist table, possibly, together. Um, we might be going to BashCon. Originally, we've been going to ZipCon, but it's just such a far drive for us for a one-day convention. The last time it was really stressful, and the drive home was awful. We got stuck in such bad fog, like it came straight out of Silent Hill. And we actually almost hit a semi-truck because we were so tired and the fog was so bad. It was awful. So we might be going to BashCon in Toledo instead because it's a lot closer and a little bit longer. Um, haven't quite decided yet on that. And then I'm hoping to still go to ASN and Colossal Con, hopefully Colossal Con. So I have plenty of stuff planned, but this will be the last year I do this many conventions. Like, it's insane because of, normally Colossal Con is my last one, but since we are going to Glass City and Midori and Kabocha, you know, it really lengthens things out. But it'll be nice, and they're fairly cheap, and they're not overly far, so it'll be nice. And I actually get to work on costumes. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys stuck around this long, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!